Grab yourself a cuppa and let's have a chat about Card Sketcher. What really is it? What's coming up? And what's the road that lies ahead of it? At the core of it all, Card Sketcher is so much more than just one add-on. It's actually a free and open source project looking to bring and enhance precision workflows in Blender. The project as a whole is not looking to replace CAD programs. It just wants to facilitate precision modeling in Blender by bringing CAD-like functionalities and features to the world of Mesh. Now, all of this just happens to start with just one add-on, which is CAD Sketcher, with the hopes that this will become the cornerstone for many more CAD-like functionalities and add-ons to come to the world of Blender. In case you don't know CAD Sketcher the add-on, it's a constraint-based sketching add-on for Blender that allows you to create precise 2D shapes defined by CAD geometric constraints, like tangents, dimensions, angles, and so on. These sketches are then converted into mesh, which actually stay completely editable and thus create a new, fully non-destructive workflow with the aid of geometry nodes and modifiers in Blender. Now it's still very early days for CAD Sketcher and they're looking to nail down the basics for version 1. This includes a robust core toolset for sketching with a comfortable sketching workflow and a bug-free experience. Once it reaches its first release, it's looking to expand outside of the 2D space and add many more features, like sketch-to-sketch -sketch referencing, mesh face parametrically referenced work planes, three-dimensional constraints, table referencing, Blender driver support, and much more. Beyond that, it might take things even a step further and explore assemblies and see if anything can be further improved with the NURBS workflow in Blender. Now, the truth of it all. Most open source projects sort of crumble away into obscurity or just disappear. And there are many reasons why this can happen, but the key ones I see are transparency and communication. Open source projects need to be transparent about where they are in terms of development, where they're experiencing hurdles, what they need, where the money is going, and the reasons for all of that. Not to mention actually communicate all of this as clearly as possible and actually show people how to take advantage of the project itself. So let's talk about the road ahead for CAD Sketcher and how it's going to try and tackle all of that. To start, it's committing itself to always be free and open source. I myself have officially joined the admin team as the community and strategy manager to do my absolute best to keep you in the loop with what's going on with CAD Sketcher. Plus, I'll be showing you how to use the add-on itself and eventually how to take advantage of the project itself. I say this because the long-term goal of CAD Sketcher, once the core add-on has been developed, is to actually use CAD Sketcher's development fund to help help and support other CAD-like precision-based add-ons for Blender. This could be everything from CAM integration to laser cutting functionalities, or even step file support, or even further development into the nerd space of Blender. Who knows what's possible? In terms of transparency, we now have a website with two styles of roadmaps. One is easy to read and the other is nitty gritty for those who want to know the details. Further development is going into the growing Discord community and when it comes to the all important topic of money, we have been accepted into an amazing platform called the Open Collective as an open source project. This is the most transparent way possible to help fund CAD Sketcher. You literally get to see where every drop of money goes. Speaking of money, as you can see, CAD Sketcher is a big advocate of free and open source software, but we would be utterly kidding ourselves if we thought that merging the functionality of CAD with the world of Mesh 
is going to be an easy and free challenge to take on. Thus, it needs your support, both with coding contributions and monetarily. Think of CAD Sketcher as the development fund for the CAD precision arm of Blender. Lastly, let me tell you how CAD Sketcher has been doing since my last video. So in about the last two weeks, we've had over 10,000 downloads. Over 1,000 members have joined the Discord community and Floris has been very busy adding a whole bunch of things to the add-on and fixing a whole bunch of bugs. And these include improved selection for Max, fixing UI scaling for Max, constraint shortcuts, scaling work planes to the view, adding horizontal and vertical modes to the distant constraint, single material support, linked duplicate support, modifier application support. But be aware that this is part of the destructive workflow right at the end of a project when you're exporting it, and many many bug fixes. So there you have it. Ultimately, all of us as the CAD Sketcher community will be taking the decisions and making it possible to create the tools and workflows that we all wish we had in the mesh environment. From here, I would advise taking a look at the CAD Sketcher website. And of course, it would be absolutely amazing if you would consider supporting the project in some way. Speaking of support, a massive thank you to my patrons. You guys are absolutely awesome awesome and without you I truly would not have been able to make Maker Tales. A big thank you to my VIP makers Jem Oskanak and David Fernandez and it would mean the absolute world if you'd consider supporting me if you think I've deserved your support. Thank you for watching, keep making and let the quest continue.